Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have m plus n equals to 12 and m times of n equals to 22 and we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here the very first step we are going to do is first we take uh, this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. And now here we focus on equation number 1 and from equation number one uh, we have we move this n we move this m to the right hand side so that we get the value of n equals to 12 minus m and we call this is our equation number three and now in the next step uh, we substitute the value of this n to the equation number two so that our equation number two is implies that so this is m times of n and the value of n is 12 minus m equals to 22. So that now we multiply this m on both of these terms and it is written as 12 times of m minus m square equals to 22. And further in the next step here we rearrange the terms and we move this 22 we move the 12 m minus m squared in the right hand side so this is minus m squared when we move in the right hand side it is becomes plus m squared this is a plus 12 m when we move in the right hand side it is minus 12 m and this is plus 22 equals to 0 so uh, further in the next step here uh, we this we get the quadratic equation in m variable so that here uh, we make the factors or use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation. So here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 12 and c equals to 22. So this is the our uh, uh, coefficients of the given equation and now uh, we just use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now uh, we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so here we have the value of b is minus 12 and it is written as minus times of minus 12 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 12 square minus 4 times of ac. So a is 1 and c is 22 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. So further uh, in the next step here we multiply uh, these two uh, values and minus times of minus becomes plus 12 plus minus square root of minus 12 square equals to 144 minus 4 times of 22 is equals to 88 and this is whole divided by 2 times of 1 becomes here 2. So after that here we subtract 144 minus 88 and it is written as 12 plus minus square root of 56 and it is divided by 2. So next further we focus on this 56 square root and we write it as 12 plus minus we break this 56 and we write it as 14 times of 4 and it is divided by 2. So uh, in the next step here we just break this fraction and it is written as 12 over 2 plus minus uh, we know that the square root of 4 is 2 into square root of 14 and it is divided by 2. So here we have uh, this 2 6 is 12 and 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get here 6 plus minus uh, square root of 14. So these are the values of m and now in the next step <clears throat> uh, here we get these two values of m so from these two values of m we uh, find the corresponding values of n. So now here we need our equation number 3 uh, so but first here we just uh, separate these two values and here we write the positive value it is m equals to 6 plus square root of 14 and here we write the negative value m equals to 6 minus square root of 14 
and or uh, and our uh, equation number three is implies that in this form equation number three is implies that n equals to 12 minus m so here we uh, substitute these two values in this equation and we get the corresponding values of n so that here first we substitute this value of m uh, here and you get our n equals to 12 minus m and the value of m is 6 plus square root of 14 and similarly in the second case we substitute this value of m here and we get n equals to 12 minus m and in this case m is 6 minus square root of 14 okay so here we focus these two equations and we, and we easily get the values of n so uh, now uh, first we solve this equation and here we have n equals to 12 we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and it is written as minus 6 minus square root of 14 and we get here n equals to 6 minus square root of 14 so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m equals to 6 plus square root of 40. So, from here uh, we get the first solution of the given equation. So, this solution is written as m n is equals to 6 plus square root of 14 and 6 minus square root of 14 and after that uh, here we uh, solve this equation and here we multiply this minus sign on both of these terms and it is written as 12 minus 6 plus square root of 14 so here you get the value of n equals to 12 minus 6 is 6 plus square root of 14 okay so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is 6 minus square root of 14 so uh, here the second solution of the given equation uh, is uh, written uh, in this way is m n is equals to 6 minus square root of 14 into 6 plus square root of 14 so these are the two solutions of the given equation and and uh, now uh, in the next step we verify over these solutions is these solutions are satisfied over given uh, equation or not okay so uh, to check these solutions here we need to uh, copy down our uh, given equations here so our first equation is m plus n equals to 12 and our second equation is m times of n equals to 22 so here i can just verify the one solution and i can left the other solution uh, verification of other solution for up to you you can easily check the second solution okay so from first solution we substitute these two values here the value of m is 6 plus square root of 14 and the value of n is 6 minus square root of 14 equals to 12 so in this case the value of m is 6 plus square root of 14 into the value of n is 6 minus square root of 14 equals to 22 so further um, you see here this is the negative and the positive value are gone and you get 6 plus 6 is 12 equals to 12 it means that first solution uh, satisfied the first equation and now uh, you focus on here so we use a nice square identity and you write it here 6 square minus square root of 14 and its whole square equals to 22 and here we need uh, some simplifications and you have 6 square is a 30 uh, 6 minus this 2 and square root are gone and you get 14 equals to 22 so 36 minus 14 is 22 equals to 22 so this shows that uh, the first solution also satisfies the second equation and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos